All right, guys, here's the old floor mat from the Del Sol. And it's starting to look pretty rough. I mean, it's possibly, possibly cleanable, but uh, got some new ones over here. I'm gonna put the old one on the new one and uh, try to cut out any of these special shapes around there. This, this one really doesn't have anything to hold it down in the car much anymore at all. So it kind of slides back and forth. Uh, so I need something that'll stick down a little better because this mat got up under the pedal the other day when Caleb and I were riding. We were like, oh, that was weird. So uh, here we go, let's try to cut this out. All right, guys. So I cut out this little spot right here. And then up here at the top where the pedal comes down, I did trim that little tab off the top there. And then this side was already cut down a little bit, so I don't think I have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna stick it in the car and see what it looks like. All right, there it is. That'll work. I had to trim it up just a little bit more, but I think that's gonna work just fine. The carpet down in here uh, really isn't bad at all, so I think these uh, rubberized floor mats will be a little bit better. At least they're laying down <laughs> correctly now and they're black and it uh, definitely cleans it up instead of those dirty old floor mats. Let's do the other one. All right, here's the other old floor mat and it actually looks a little bit better than this one. Um, still pretty stained up though. So you can see that these things in the back, most of those little knurls have like worn down to nothing. So the, the pasture side just dropped right in. Nothing really to trim on it, but that looks way cleaner than it did before. All right guys, I also got some uh, new stickers made up for the Del Sol. Uh, got a high res on there. This is the style one, that's a banner. So um, on the website, we've got some different ones and uh, most of them just say white and black. Uh, but we can pretty much do any color. Um, and I did the mint to match everything else, match the Avenue one there. So um, in the in the, uh, the comment box or whatever, just toss in there what kind of color you're looking for. If you want a special color or whatever, we can pretty much do about anything. So just let us know. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome right there. Sweet. All right. Here we go. Sweet. All right, guys, got the uh, Del Sol back over here at the shop uh, pretty early this morning. Uh, Greg's making his way over. And uh, last video, we kind of figured out how we were going to mount it and Kind of how to make the mounts and today we're going to actually try to get those mounts made and then uh post office was supposed to deliver the heim joint for the top uh yesterday and they, they set out for delivery and then it showed up back at the post office so maybe they just forgot it or something i don't know but we're probably gonna head up there and see if we can go ahead and grab that try to get this thing actually mounted all right guys here's greg no overalls first time in his life did you go hunting this morning no, I didn't. I wanted to, but I didn't. Uh, so, we got uh supercharger here, and like I said, you saw in the last video, that uh, uh, kind of how we want to mount it, and just went to the post office and picked up the hind joint. So if we can build some kind of bracket to go at the bottom and then... In this vicinity? Yeah, somewhere around there. Blocked like this. Yeah, but flipped over. Yeah. Well, oh, this is in. Well, yeah, you're yeah, right. That way. Like nope, this. Nope. Yeah, straight. There you go. So just kind of like that. Um, should be pretty good. We still haven't got the pulley in yet, which which kind of sucks. Greg had some random piping. I had some random piping. We got a box of random stuff in there. I do have another um, Grady blow-off valve there that I had from a long time ago. So we'll probably end up throwing it in here. So... Right now, today, we just mainly want to figure out the mounts and then get it where it'll mount up completely and then we'll take it back off. As soon as the pulley gets in, we'll pop that on and we can figure out the rest of it. So right now, Greg is marking our holes so we can get our first bracket to go across. We'll get it uh, cut and then start working on the next bracket over. It works a lot better with the crayon. 
<laughs> I don't have very many crayons. It really does. I know that sounds bad. <laughs> Greg, can we draw you a map? I don't, the have the, I don't have the time nor the crayons to explain this to you right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's our, our piece. This is the original piece. We cut it off, welded it in, and now we've got a hole here. We mount the supercharger up. That's where we kind of marked it. So we're gonna trim this off, and that'll give us another little tab uh, for the top. And then later on, we'll get another bar of metal coming out here, have two mounting spots on the supercharger. The welds are hideous, and for the record, I didn't do them, but if the welds are hideous, Greg that's, did them. that's what grinders are for. Yeah. I'm a pretty good grinder. I'm not that good of a welder. Hey, those are gonna hold though. That's Get two true. pieces of metal hot, stick them together. That's all you gotta have. It'll definitely hold. We hit it with a hammer, it don't come apart. Quack, and it falls on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, there is the supercharger and there's the bottom mount. You see we mounted there and there. We've got two pieces coming off and they'll be bolting through the two tabs here. And then when everything gets fully bolted up, hopefully we'll be in line. We won't really know for sure until we get that other pulley in. But that's our adjustment, is back and forth away from there. And then once we get this kind of set, we can have our top mount come off of, of probably up there actually probably up there to down here and that'll be our adjustment so i may have to either come down or i may not even have a long enough heim joint yeah you can see from the top side here kind of how it's mounting so this will kind of go like that and then we'll have to work out our piping and whatnot but to get the belts lined up then off of the top off of this one right here we should be able to get us the heim joint to go between there and here but i think we're definitely going to have to do something else either get a longer one or extend it or something so have to look at that this is the one we got it's close actually lift that supercharger upgrade that's mounted there. You got plenty, of, you got, still got a range of adjustability there, so yeah. I bet you it will work. Yeah, it might work just fine, actually. That's the thing is, look where, the outlet, look where our outlet is now. Yeah. Which we can still 90 it, and we're gonna have a little bit of adjustability just because it's, it's silicone. But. Yeah. All right, there's the bracket. A little bit more work, and uh, should be good. <laughs> So, and then we've got some adjustability in our holes. We can move back and forth. Like I said, when we get that pulley in, we'll be able to uh, mount this back to the engine, mount our supercharger, and then figure out exactly the way that we need our, get our bolts lined up. But that's coming together pretty good. I think that'll work.